but my haven's going Corrin. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Sometimes, you know the saying, the better player loses the ditto. And maybe Haven doesn't want to go through that, but Corrin's not a bad option. I mean, you're talking about, I mean, Shattuck, of course, you know, winning Santa Claus against uh, Beast Mode Paul. I mean, Corrin has been on the up recently, and, you know, all these big hitboxes, like those up airs, those nares, those huge aerials, uh, to combo, um, you know, a character like Wario, who's, who's pretty big and thick. So, a lot of these things that Haven's gonna go for are gonna hit. Speaking of hitting your, you know, moves, you mean getting that throw, both players going back and forth once again. Actually, Haven's actually not doing a bad job with the core here right now, you know, yet, as you said, it was like utilizing Corrin's big range games, like, I think the biggest selling point of Corn is that up air, in my opinion, because it's such a s big and strong move. You're like, it hits behind you. It hits so high up in the air. It's like it's comparable to Sephiroth's, if you want to go that far. But the side B stuff is really good at two framing. You got an up B out of shield that can potentially kill. It's just dependent on how the player plays, it, and that's like why you only really see Shattuck and Nao on this character. Yeah, I mean, there's so much versatility that comes with Corrin, and you're seeing that uh, Haven's trying to approach with the up air, because like, you said before that the up air can hit from behind, and so, you know, characters like Ike, for example, can do that same thing, Whoa. but the DI is not going to save you there, as that Nair takes out the first stock while Haven's only at 64%, so, you know, quite the lead that Haven has, and a comfortable one, too, but when you're offstage, you got to be very careful. Oh, oh no! There you go. Good, good gimp right there. From yeah, as, as much as I love to praise that up B for being such a strong move, um, it's not good without a jump. Yeah, it has its downsides, of course, as most characters have. <coughs> Steve. Um, but I think, generally speaking, against BB Bean, Haven has the you know the advantage because Haven also plays Wario, and he's been most known you know, for, for playing with Wario. It's what got him so many PR wins, and just PR in general. So that knowledge of how that character works is going to help out Haven, as you see right there with the huge juggle and those up airs coming out, doing a lot of damage. Again, maybe that, that knowledge with your character is what's going to help Haven win the set. Walked is on deck right now for BD. For BD, I mean, should he try to rip it out right now? But I doubt it, it even though you're at 49%. And, uh, oh, no, 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 he tried to go for it, but it's just a couple frames too late. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, BD Bean has been missing his buffs a lot, which is a very uncharacteristic of him. Well, the other uncharacteristic thing about him is that he doesn't have his flannel. <laughs> oh, go for that chomp again, like you saw against Uchi Gucci, looking for that back air, as both players are actually at really even percentages. I, now that I look at it, both players looking for their back airs to take the stock. Yeah, honestly, I think I have about Corey is that as slow as you are, I think you're kind of just like. Like a Byleth archetype where he's like you kind of play a range game or not like kind of like a rush down. So nice. like, okay, while well, there's the back, you're going to take the chump, chump uh, call out right yeah. there. Yeah, you go for it too many times and then, you know, opponents will start catching on to it. And that's what Haven did really well. Going for that chomp once again, you saw it. He saw the little animation that occurred. But yeah, again, Haven's doing really well using these fast fall. Uh, or these landing uh, aerials to do you know, start off these combos. Of course, forward air, um, popping your opponent up the nair to follow up into the back air. Edie Bean in a little bit of trouble Ooh, wow. as there's the two frame you were talking about with the skewer and a sweet spot too, a little too sweet for Haven as he nudges his way with the advantage. Game number one going to him. I mean, Edie Bean was, you know, playing a little bit well, but missed a lot of... Uh, opportunities to do a lot of damage so granted oh yeah we're gonna get a good replay here look at this oh ugh. that's just really and good for me. BD Bean goes run it back yeah I mean he was doing really well and then all of a sudden you know Haven got that two frame or even you know hit the skewer uh just below ledge it wasn't even a two frame um but I mean Corrin has that range I mean she's basically a sortie um but has that really, really good range and big, uh, you know, a lot of moves that have huge hitboxes that when you throw it out, they're just going to connect. Oh, oh no. Okay, Haven. I'm this dude, is, this, does, it, does, does anybody know that Haven has a Kazuya? I do. How is it? Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> he, he, has, uh, he, he has a chewed. Kazuya. He has a DK. He, he has beat Jackal one, with really. it. He's random. He random main. As you can see, right here, God, are we gonna see more of it? Oh, double tilt, and he misses another one. Yeah, 
got a different kind of character decor it is obviously mm -hmm. you gotta find your combo game but it's like if you don't find your combos you're kind of fishing for either a starter into an electric wing got fist or just fishing for straight hits so it's just like that demon's got fist yeah, you can definitely set up the Furbs tech especially on town and city with that middle platform um but i mean haven you know trying to go for that definitely not helping uh him out a little bit but i think that's the thing that makes haven so good is that he has such a really solid, like he has a really solid pool of characters that he can just pull out, especially, you know, with Kazuya, Wario, Corrin, EK if he really felt like it. Any character There's he wants to go, office. it's gonna work. And there you go, the, uh, the, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was electric. It'll even less... got this into forward smash. Yeah. Oh, that's Ooh. a really close cool stock there on that forward air. Oh, good, good usage of the laser and the air dodge. You gotta watch out, Rage Drive on deck for Haven. All it takes, especially on a stage like. Town and City, just one grab, and that's stock taken. Yeah, you also went for two of his race drives and missed it both times, unfortunately. Uh -oh. oh, that's a high up B. And yeah, that's a stock. Nice, there you go. I mean, Haven definitely wanted to snap onto ledge there with that up B. Unfortunately, couldn't get it. Uh, and right now, I mean, both players are pretty even, as Haven's just waiting for the moment that BDB makes a mistake and tries to approach aerially and get, you know, that electric uh, dodge is. Double American next into that up there, so at least BDB is hitting back into this game. Again, this is this looks even. I'm, like Haven knows what he's doing, was just like depending on the character he's facing, he's like not getting the right execution drops properly. And that's oh. a low recovery. You, I, yeah, I kind of needed the waft there, but I guess you gotta hold on to it for the next stock. Yeah, but that's the thing with Wario is that sometimes you may want to hold on to waft, but it doesn't matter if you're gonna lose your stock, and at 66. percent you gotta think that maybe BD Bean is considering just using that waft early. Oh, oh yeah, he, he misses it, it again. again. Like, yeah, he's just going for those up tilts. Does he not know that the up tilt into waft is nerfed now? I think I think he knows that. It's just he's trying to hopefully hit it. Um, but again, Haven able to dodge that once again. Good tech on stage, by the way. And the down air not gonna take the stock. Oh, that's a D Venture Art. Oh, yeah, BD Bean just missed it. Looking for that down air again. Not gonna connect it, okay. and that's gonna be it. Yep. Good old. That wasn't even rage drive too. I, like it wasn't even the input. It was just the, the the regular one, and that just shows just how strong Kazuya is. Um, not only in this meta, but just in general. That character is absolutely busted. And Haven making it known to everyone that's watching and everyone in New Jersey know that. Hey, I don't just have a Wario. My fundamentals are absolutely, you know, one of the main reasons why, you know, he's PR, why he has wins against Jackal. He has a me brawler, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> just thought about it. He has a me brawler. Yeah, and that's, yeah, I think that, yeah, that is every one of our top eights that's done, actually. Yeah, very, very good stuff uh, from you know everyone uh actually delta force getting um what should not be an upset but is considered an upset in the tournament two one over melly who is a very very solid uh belmont player on the other side of bracket actually marcus falling to jucane the number one seed going to losers uh set to face mr mugs uh melly versus odd mcbob and so now lemon tea has to fight uh, BD Bean to get into losers top eight. So a lot of really, really good sets, um, you know, having to be played out to get this top eight. Um, and I mean, that's that's tough, right? For everyone in losers, just to know that, you know, you have Marcus Lemon T, you have BD Bean down there. That's again, that just shows you how good of a region, uh, you know, New Jersey is. Yeah, and that's just how we finish up our first round of commentary heroes. Let's go ahead and run some ads before we go to our next ad break. Let's go ahead and get them up under the picture. You want to go ahead and check out the big event here in Tri-State. You have Collision 2024 coming up in March 15th. You want to go ahead and register. You know, all these names that are coming in here. Zane, Sparko, Cody Schwab, Leo. You got many more of these players. And if you want to see... Got IJ Performance Magic once again. You want to go ahead and start <laughs> oh. register for Collision right now. Start GG slash Collision. Yeah, that was that was quite the magic that was uh, performed by him. But speaking of magic, the magic in New Jersey of Smash never stops with the circuit still uh, going on. Again, you guys still have two weeks left 
do join up and uh, definitely support our collision. Who's running that, running all these streams. Uh, check out their Twitch, their their Twitter. Of course, the VODs that you see here are going to be posted onto the Collision Series YouTube. So if you guys missed out on some of this content uh, but want to watch just a little bit more, check them out and support them. And you want to go ahead and sign up for the next Fusion 185. It's sure to be another bit of a banger. You want to go ahead and register it I hear. As soon as you get it, every Monday here, Main Street, New Jersey, every bit of Fusion, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You want to go ahead and check it out every time. You have an arcade here as well. You got Rosalie Buster practice. You have a lot of things to do here. Absolutely. And I mean, if you guys are in the upper New Jersey side, make sure you guys check out Xeno Weeklies, where you have players like Melly. You have Carflow, all these really, really solid New York uh, players just gonna duke it out at Xeno Weekly every Wednesday um, at 21 Ludlow Street in New York. Make sure to check out their Twitch, their Match Arena, which helps out with their uh, you know prize pools and whatnot. And I mean, again, support their Twitter. I mean, I don't think it's coming back, but like we still got to shout them out, right? <laughs> 